Hey, what's going on? I'm RJ. This is The Cave. Thanks for joining me. You are awesome. This one is going to be all about that bitch. Which bitch? That bitch. Yeah, you heard that right. And no, I wasn't swearing. It's been a while since we posted any kind of videos about the BC Rich Bitch build that we've been doing. So, it's time. But calling this an update really wouldn't be all that accurate because not only am I going to let you know what's been going on since the last video posted, but a little later on in the video, we're going to be doing a strap lock install. So if you've never put in a set, now's your chance to see how it's done. All right, so my apologies for the amount of time that's gone by between the last video and this video, but I had to wait for these guys. I ordered two different types of kill switches because I wasn't sure which one I was going to be able to use or which one I even wanted to use. So I ordered both of these and the only place I could find these were at AliExpress. So it took a little while, but that gave me time to go over the guitar and I found two issues. One is one of the saddles has a stripped saddle screw. So we're going to have to deal with that. Shouldn't be a huge deal. And the other is that I believe that we're going to have to shim up the neck. All right. Also, while I was waiting, I started getting a vibe that maybe I want to change a few things, but we'll discuss that at another time. Right now, it's time to put on those strap locks. This video is sponsored by Cave Dwellers, the official store for all things RJ's Cave and RJ Raves. Hey, you. Have you ever thought to yourself, gee whiz, that RJ's Cave channel on YouTube sure is awesome and RJ is so handsome. I wish there were a way I could help support RJ's Cave and spread the word. Well, potential future stalker, there is. The answer is Cave Dwellers. When you purchase items like the official RJ's Cave or RJ Raves shirts, the profits received go directly to help feed her work and clothe RJ. Seriously? Come on! Don't forget to pick up the matching coffee mug to go with your new official t-shirt or that there are more guitar and bass themed tees and mugs available at Cave Dwellers, like this. All of which make great gifts. Just head on over to the RJ's Cave or RJ Raves YouTube channel pages and click the store button or use the link down below. Remember, funds go to help keep RJ from going feral and to help keep the content coming. So when you want to support RJ, click your way on over to Cave Dwellers, the exclusive seller for all things RJ's Cave and RJ Raves. Also, don't forget, when you shop there, you'll be helping to feed a guitar player. All right, strap lock time. This is the strap lock we're gonna be installing. This is a shallow style strap lock. It is not an actual shaller strap lock. Please don't get it confused with one, all right? We did pick this up as part of our haul from the wish.com cheap shit guitar gear uh, shopping spree video that we did, where we picked up a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of reviews, including reviews for these. So there's gonna be another video that's actually reviewing these. So come back for that, okay? There's also gonna be one for the strap we're going to use. This is the strap we're going to be using today. We're going to connect one end of the one part of the strap lock to this after the button goes on here, the strap button. All right. You're probably going to replace one here on video, but it's basically a wash, rinse, and repeat kind of thing. When I mean, you know, like when you shampoo your hair. Uh, once you know how to do one, you can just repeat it on the other. Right? It's nice and easy. It's just one screw out, one uh, put another screw in. A little disassembly and assembly real quick and you're done and it's real easy to take apart these things all right enough talking let's get to work for this i'm just going to need my phillips screwdriver all right interesting okay so we got a little dilemma right now this hole is a little too big for this screw i can physically pull this in and out this is no good so what we're going to do is we're going to take some toothpicks, cut the ends off, and we're going to use them as dowels, and we're going to fill this in here with some little with a little glue, and then we're going to let it dry, and we're going to come back. 
So this should be good, and if it's not, what's the worst that can happen? I just got to do this all over again. <laughs> so now we just want to uh, put this in, and this should go right in, because there should be uh, enough of a spot, and yep, there is, uh, for the teeth to kind of catch on a little. All right, because as the glue dries, it leaves a little recess there at the edge, and we squeeze that in there. All right, that's all nice and tight. Now, the next part is easy as well. Now, we just take this nut and washer off, and this slides through the bottom of the strap, the side of the strap that's going to be on your shoulder. That's the bottom. Let's see what we got here. And these nuts can be a little bit of a pain because they're so thin. They don't want to line up right away. Let's see, that looks like the right side. Let's see if I can get it lined up evenly. And then pull up, and now it's on there. All right, if I want to get it off, I got to pull this up. And that's it. You just do the same thing on the other side for the other one. Now that's how you install strap locks. Those things won't be going anywhere, and neither will that strap. By the way, don't forget, the strap and the strap locks each are getting their own cheap shit guitar gear review. All right, don't miss out. Best way not to miss out, by the way, is to make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right, and while you're down there doing that, be sure to hit the like button as well. All right, because when you do all this, you'll always know whenever we post a new video and we'll get to see you more often. All right. And if you still like to help out the channel a little bit more, you can always hit us up at the merch store, the link's down below, as well as the super thanks button where you can give us a tip. All right. Now, as far as that rest of that update goes, it has to do with these guys, the kill switch, the, the, the kill switches. When I ordered them, uh, I knew I didn't have the right bit, the right drill bit size to adapt the body for one of these, either one of them. So I had to go online and look around because here in the United States, we use the Imperial system. Anything I find with the metric drill bits in it, they're going to be included in an all Imperial set. I don't need a whole bunch. I just need a couple bits. Guess where I ended up? Wish.com. So, so they're on order and we can't really do the next step in this until I, th those come in. But that's all right because that gives us time. Uh, I got something going on, which if it goes well, is going to bode well for the channel. And right around that time is when I'll know. So I'll have more of an update ready for you guys then. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Until the next one, you've been awesome. I've been RJ. Take care.